Welcome to the AP Computer Science A Open House video. I'm Jeff Schmidt. Um, my email address is there on the screen. Um, when we are meeting uh, in person, we'll be in room 121 at Naperville North High School. Um, for all the nitty gritty details about this course, um, that URL right there will take you to my detailed syllabus. First, a little bit about myself uh, to introduce myself to you. Um, I earned my bachelor and master's in science and computer engineering from Case Western Reserve University. I then worked as a software engineer for 11 years. After that, I decided to change careers and went back to school to earn my master of arts in teaching from National Lewis University. Um, and I'm surprised that it has already been 14 years um, that I've been a teacher at Naperville North High School. And this is my ninth year teaching computer science. AP Computer Science A is a full year course in high school, and it is equivalent to a one semester introductory college level computer science course. This would typically be the course that would be required for computer science and engineering majors. Um, that said, especially in this day and age, it is extremely useful for science business and pretty much any other major as well. We are really fortunate at Naperville North High School um, that we have a robust computer science um, and information technology pathways. Um, our computer science pathway has students starting in computer programming one and then progressing to computer programming two. Each of those are one semester courses. Um, this course is AP Computer Science A, the third course in the pathway. Um, and the next course is the software engineering course, which is a full year course as well. We also have a couple kind of computer science electives um, outside of the standard pathway uh, in web design and game design. Um, we also have recently redone our information technology pathway. That pathway starts with IT Systems 1 and IT Systems 2, which are each one semester courses, um, and then transitioning to cybersecurity. Um, IT Systems 1 and IT Systems 2 are recommended. They're not necessarily required courses for cybersecurity but they do provide some important background information. The scope of this course is that it will certainly cover all the AP topics and students will be well prepared for the AP exam come May. Um, it is really more of a problem solving course than a language syntax course. And that's perhaps the biggest change from computer programming one and two. Um, that's what makes this course challenging is the problem solving part of it. Uh, we do use the Java programming language as specified by the College Board. Um, overall, I would say it focuses on kind of the big picture of robust object-oriented software development. Uh, we are fortunate that we are able to go beyond the strict AP curriculum um, and expose students and introduce them to a variety of software engineering skills, such as the use of GitHub, Javadoc, JUnit, and UML. Um, as we're all probably wondering, how is the technology going to work during e-learning? Uh, the good news is that all activities during e-learning can be completed with BlueJ on student Chromebooks. Um, and uh, I expect by the time you watch this video, I will have worked with the students to get them up and running with BlueJ on their Chromebooks. Of course, students are welcome to use their own computer for class if they have one, um, but they'll still need their Chromebooks for for Zoom and some other activities during class as well. During stages three and four, uh, we will be using the classroom desktops um, for our activities. Learning activities. We spend most of our time in class doing learning activities, which makes sense because we're focused on learning. Learning activities are where students are exploring, they're discovering, they're taking risks, they're failing every day, they're asking questions, they're helping each other, they're practicing, they're getting feedback, um, they're self-assessing, and they do that through homework reading, questions and problems. Um, they do that with uh, occasional lecture and demonstrations. Um, they primarily do that through class-wide pair um, and solo programming activities. Uh, we also have quizzes as well. Learning activities do not show up in the gradebook. They are not scored. They are strictly focused on learning. We do have summative assessments. We do these after we have finished with the learning activities, um, and, and these are where students demonstrate their mastery of the AP learning objectives. And they do this through essays, reflections, programming labs, uh, and exams. 
Each of these is scored like an AP exam, that is, it's on a one to five scale. And you'll see that reflected in Infinite Campus. Homework. There's usually some homework. Most homework doesn't require programming. Um, however, at times, students may need more time to complete their programming labs outside of that of our normal class time. And they can continue to use BlueJay on their Chromebook um, like they do normally during class, and that is fine. Um, and of course, they're welcome to use Java and BlueJay and GitHub on a personal computer as well if they have that available. Support for me. Every week, I'll post my office hours. Um, and that's when they can connect with me on Zoom and I can help them out one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. Um, we also have a Google chat room for this class where we can ask and answer each other's questions. Um, email is, works great as well. Um, there are many, many resources on Canvas, um, some of which you've seen if you watch the Canvas video. Um, and we also are fortunate to have the NNHS Liter Center tutors and those peer tutors, many of whom have taken and excelled in this particular course. Support from you. This is what, in my, from my perspective, students can benefit from you. Um, emphasize their understanding rather than their grade. Um, encourage your student to communicate with me, whether it's in real time or via email. Um, encourage your students to complete assignments on time. Um, not getting behind is, is a great indicator of success in this course. Um, encourage your student to take advantage of all opportunities to demonstrate understanding. Um, by that, I mean the reassessments that I offer. Um, one thing here, based on some research that I've read, please don't tell your student how hard computer science was for you if in fact it was. Um, the research shows that this can have a significant negative impact on their learning if they're predisposed to that mindset. Um, please do share with me anything that's important for me to know about your student. Um, if you've told the school, don't necessarily assume that they've told me. Our first semester um, is focused on five different standards. Um, at different times throughout that semester, we'll be focusing on communicating about computing and fostering an inclusive programming culture. Um, our first programming type unit will be to understand and construct simple computer programs. That's an introduction to objects. Uh, we follow that where we focus on understanding, creating, and applying classes in program. We're now defining our own classes in Java. After that, we understand conditions and iteration structures and apply those to programs. And at the end of the first semester, we'll be studying arrays and their application. In the second semester, we continue to communicate about computing and foster an inclusive programming culture. We will then um, put together everything from the first semester along with array lists and apply those to computational media projects. <coughs> Excuse me. We will understand object-oriented design um, and apply that design um, to different programs. Uh, we will understand, analyze, and create recursive um, sorting and searching algorithms. And finally, um, as we prepare for the AP exam, we will synthesize computer science concepts to solve new applications. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you so much.